in SysML, then, we've defined nine different type of diagrams. Now, one thing I didn't show you is how do you add stuff to the sidebar? There's three buttons here. The first button lets you create a new package. So if I want to create a new package, let's say a child package of this one here, number one, you hide the button, click on it, give it a wonderful name. I'll just call it 1.1. And it creates a new package as a child package of that particular diagram. So there is the new package. Looks like I got two 1.1s, except one doesn't have a name. Okay? The next button it lets me create a new diagram. So if I click on it, I can choose the item type. And there are the nine diagram types I can pick from from SysML. Activity, block, internal block, package. Parametric, requirement, sequence, state machine, and use case. And then, of course, if I want to just create a new element, a new block, a new value type, that's that third icon, new element. You highlight the package you want to insert the element in, click the button, and then it, it tells you what type of stereotype it's going to create, or you can change it. To pick, let's say we want to put in a uh, a lifeline. We click lifeline, give it a wonderful name, click OK, and it would insert that in that package, and then we can use it on a diagram later on. Okay. Now let's show you. Let's close everything out here. So let's close all this stuff. Let's go into setup, and I'll show you where we define. I want to save my changes this time on that diagram. And project setup is where we define uh, the stereotypes and then uh, new modeling domains. Now, if I do say choose model, you'll see I've got one called SysML Automobile, SysML Play 1. That's just a play data model I can use. SysML Play 2. And then the default system L. So let's just go into project setup. I go into project, project setup, get down. Okay, so in the project setup, if you go to options and you go to modeling, so stereotypes, there's where we define the stereotypes. And what we did was we picked the stereotypes out of the specification. And then we made a few assumptions, simplification assumptions, but these are all defined in the spec, in the in the standard. Okay? Now, for example, we got something over here, block. You notice how it's got underneath it actor. That's like a sub stereotype. Actor is a sub stereotype of block. What if I wanted to use in my model something called hardware or software? Or engineering, I could just highlight the the element, the stereotype. I want to make a new subtype. Hit new. Let's make it hardware. And you notice it indented it below block. It gives me a clue that this is a child or a subtype of block. Okay. Now, if I come back over here and say save, oh, oh, excuse me, one more thing before I do that. Let's come back over and click on the hierarchies. And under hierarchy, remember in Cradle, there are two namespaces, essential and implementation. I use implementation, but you can use either one. Notice that under implementation, there's this thing called SysML Automobile. I created that. So if I highlight the parent node up here, say add, I could add a new one. Let's call this one, uh, oh, uh, Air, Air Force. So if I want to model an Air Force type of uh, example, I give it a name, then I've got a button here called SysML Die Model. If I click on it, here are the nine models that are available. I can exclude any one I don't want. Maybe I just want to use activity diagram and block definition diagram. Then I could get rid of the others if I wanted to. 
Now if I say save and OK, now let's come back over here to the sidebar. Click on the icon. Oop, click on the icon. Remember, if you say choose model, we can switch to a different model. Hopefully, the one I just created called Air Force is in there. Air Force, there it is. It gives me the model name as the top node. Then I can insert new packages. Let's click package. So let's do package one, PKG dash one. X, 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 X. Say OK. Now, inside model, I've got a package. I can insert an element. Let's put in a block. A block. Let's call this boat. No, plane. P L A N E. So now I've got a plane defined. Now, if I want to insert a diagram, let's click on the diagram icon and pick which diagram. Let's do a block definition diagram. And this, then uh, this block definition diagram is going to be called BDD-1. And let's give it a wonderful name. Say OK. There's my diagram. Now. I can either just create a symbol, like this symbol right here is for a new block. So I can click there, click in here. It's going to ask me to name the block I'm trying to create. I'm going to call this boat. It's going to be a boat. I've got boats in my Air Force here. There's my new block. Remember how I can click on the symbol, come down here to compartments, and expand the compartments. Remember, the way we populate the compartments is by linking objects to that boat block. Now, what if I want to use that plane block on here? Well, I can either just grab it here, if it already exists, and drag it over here and drop it. Click. There we go. Now I've got a block, plane. I can expand it a little bit. If I want to link the two together, come down to my control panel, click on my connector, click there, and click there, and I do a relationship between the two, whatever I need to do. Okay, that is Cradle SysML. Very powerful. It's very easy the way we laid out to teach people SysML just by following the uh, user's manual that we're, we, we're just finishing writing. So that should be available to you if you guys want to do an evaluation. Do we have any questions? This demo database. So if I go into the, the project sidebar here, go into source documents, go into requirements, Here's a requirements document that someone has captured. And here are the items they captured out of that source document and brought in the cradle. There we go, source statement. So if I click on that, OK. So now if I double, let's try this. If I double click it, open this one to see what happens. Okay, so this is the requirements document or a document that we we ran doc loader against and pulled out each paragraph and made it an object in the database. So this one here, 1.2 operating features. Let's go back over here, workbench now. So if I expand that, that's what this blue thing is. That's the statement. So there's the operating features. Okay that got captured from Doc Loader. You notice that it's got links to other things, but none of them are SysML things at the moment. So let's see if we can open up the sidebar in SysML. Now, 
Now, this one doesn't have any data, so remember how long ago we just created a new item, a new block, or a new activity, or a new function? So let's just click on the new element. We'll pick an activity, a function, and we'll call it start car, start the car. That's a function that we want to perform. Okay, now I want to be able to get to a query so I can see this information and this information side by side. So if I run a query, just like a normal query in, in Workbench, we're going to come up here and click on the query. We'll tell it to look at sys, uh, stereotypes. I've only got one in this database, so it's going to be real simple. So if I come up here and say choose item type, and then way down at the bottom under implementation domain, that's where I put under system, systeml default, and we want to query either on all stereotypes or just activities. Let's do all stereotypes. There's only one. There's only an activity. So if we say OK, there's the one stereo. Well, we got two stereotypes. I'm sorry. I lied to you. There's the model. That's also a stereotype. And then there's that activity I just created. Now if I come back over here to my normal project sidebar, and this is stuff that I brought in from a document, remember that is in that document. Let's go to one more. Let's try this one right here. Let's see what that one's linked to. Okay, that one is called environment, and there's the shall statement. So let's, that's the one I want to do. So let's see if we can link that. So if I expand this, there's that environment. If I click on it, just to double check, there's the requirement statement. So there's a, a, um, a requirement. And here is the SysML activity. So if I want to associate this activity with that environment, I just do. Now, I probably don't have a link rule defined to allow me to link these two together. We'll see. It'll tell me right now if I don't. See the red X? No link rule. So let me fix that real quick, and we're almost done. So I'll go to Project, Project Setup. We'll go to Cross Reference Parameters. We will either define a link rule or turn off. We'll define a link rule real, real quick. And then that should demonstrate what you've asked for, I hope. OK, there we go. So remember on the options, if I go to cross-reference parameters, if I go to link rules, I got a whole bunch of link rules. Let me just add a new one. So I want to be able to link a requirement to so uh, to a SysML model. So requirement, let's come over here to the type, and I'll change that to be specification of type implementation because that's where I might I put my SysML elements. Whose model matches all models? The SysML model. Now see here's where I tell it which stereotype. And then I could have this match. So the stereotype is going to be an activity. But there it is. And I want to match if, if, if it says is equal to, that means it's just going to look at activities. If there's any child stereotypes below activity, I can match those by doing this one right here. Is it equal to or a descendant of? So like action is a child of activity, so it'll match either one. So it's going to look for, allow me to link a requirement to an activity or a child of activity. So let's, we build our rule, we saved it, we okayed it. Now let's try this again. I can drag either one and drop on the other one. So let's drag our activity, our stereotype activity, Onto requirement. Ah, oh, look at that. It says link type. Select the link type. 
Uh, how about this one? Say okay. So there's the requirement that came out of Doc Loader. There's the stereotype for cis and male. Over here, I can look at it as well. Uh, I got to change the navigation, don't I? So let's change the navigation up here to home. Let's just go to bi-directional. Expand activity. There it is. Activity is linked to that environment requirement. Is that what you want to see? You're totally welcome. Any other questions, anybody?